All right, let's try that again. Good morning, everybody. Luis Morales here, Health Fitness Specialist with Exos at Autodesk. Um, today, getting going on the second to last stretch break of the week, we're going to start on the ground here. Now, if there's something that you would like um, us to focus on today, please drop it in the chat um, and we can definitely address that. <clears throat> um, without further ado, let, let's get down onto the ground. Um, we're going to start with a child's pose variation here today. So down on the hands and knees. Starting with those knees kind of right under those hips, you can spread them out a little bit if that's more comfortable for you. What we're going to do is take those hands and walk them way out to the one side here. I'm going to start with my left side. And what we're going to do is get a nice kind of side body stretch here with our child's pose. So once we have those hands way out to the side, Let's drop those hips back to a nice comfortable position. You might have to pull the hands back a little bit too. And once those hands are resting in a nice position, let's just take a few deep breaths here. And as our ribs expand, we'll feel some of those muscles on the opposite side of our body really begin to stretch and expand. Nicely done, guys. All right, let's slowly rise out of that position. Put some more weight into those hands. And let's walk those hands out to the other side and do the same thing. Sink those hips back. Move those hands into a comfortable position. And then let's take some deep breaths. Let's let those ribs expand and stretch out those muscles on the other side. I like this one a lot to do in the morning just because oftentimes, you know, whether you sleep on your back or your side, these muscles on the side of our bodies can get really tight and we just stay in one position for a while. So it's always good to get up in the morning, get them moving, wake everything up. One more breath here, guys. All right, nicely done. Slow up, put some more weight back into those hands. <clears throat> Come back to the middle. Next thing we're gonna be doing is getting into a nice half kneeling position here. So I'm gonna use a pillow to pad up the ground a little bit for my knee. Starting with my left knee on the ground, right foot in front. And what we can do here now, is a classic half kneeling hip flexor stretch. I love this stretch so much. Let's start by tucking our tailbones in here. What I'm gonna do is squeeze my left glute super, super hard making sure my tailbone is nice and tucked. I'm gonna keep my tummy muscles also nice and tight. And then move those hips forward just a little bit until you can find that tension right there in the front of your hip. Might take a little bit, might take a lot, depends. Make sure those tummy muscles stay tucked in there though. Once you find that tension, you can take that same side arm, reach it up, keep squeezing that glute, and let's breathe into this stretch here. A few breaths. All right, guys, slowly release the tension there. Can move the hips back a little bit. Let's just give that hip a brief rest. We're gonna be doing the same side one more time here. So let's go through that checklist again. Tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glute, move the hips forward just a little bit. Keep those tummy muscles tucked in, and then we can reach for the sky again. Nicely done, guys. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. All right, and once we're in that position again, let's make sure our alignment is good. Tuck that tailbone, squeeze that right glute if your right knee is on the ground now. 
push those hips forward just a little bit, pull those tummy muscles in, and then when you're ready, you can reach up to the ceiling or sky here. Try and maintain that glute squeeze the whole time. All right, guys, give yourself a brief break here. Come out of that tension for a moment. And then one last time on the side, go through that checklist, tuck the tailbone, squeeze that glute, move the hips forward a little bit, keep those tummy muscles pulled in. And then a few more deep breaths, that stretch. We want it to be kind of medium intensity. It doesn't have to be 10 out of 10 intensity for it to be an effective stretch. All right, guys, slowly come out of that position. <clears throat> Great work so far. Next, let's come up into standing. <clears throat> I know that something that's usually really stiff for me after I sleep is my neck. So let's go ahead and get going on some neck circles here. All right, guys, so we can just plant our feet kind of wherever about shoulder width apart. Keep those tummy muscles tight. We want to make sure our torso isn't doing a whole lot of moving. We just want it to be kind of collarbone up here. So with those arms down, relax. Let's bring our chins down to our chest. And we're going to be doing five big neck circles in each direction. So it doesn't, much, doesn't matter which side you start with. We're just trying to create the biggest circle with our necks here. Be conscious of that breathing. Might hear some pops and some cracks, that's okay. Typically if it's not met with immediate pain. And then switch after you get to five, go in that first direction. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, wherever you're at, let's make it the last one. Next, what we're going to do is a little bit of work with the shoulders themselves. So we're going to be working on one shoulder at a time here in the standing position. I'm going to start with my right. You guys can start with your left if you want. It's not going to make that much of a difference. So starting with my right, we're going to do something called the shoulder, shoulder car, which stands for controlled articulate rotation. What we're gonna do here with a thumb up, my thumb's pointing forward, I'm gonna bring my hand up towards the ceiling. So now my thumb is pointing behind me. What I'm gonna do is rotate that palm out, bring my arm around and away from me as much as possible, and then slip my arm behind my back with the top of my hand, trying to reach one of my shoulder blades here. All right, so once you get there, slowly let that hand come all the way down by your side. And we're gonna do it two more times. So all the way up with that thumb, all the way out and around, and then internal rotation as much as you can. My shoulder's getting a little tight here. One more time. Palm all the way out. And then all the way behind. All right, guys, good job. All right, let's try it out on the other side. Thumb all the way up. Palm out. And coming all the way up behind. You might notice one shoulder's a little bit tighter than the other. One shoulder might move a little bit better than the other. That's all right. 
going through the second rotation here. Turn that palm away from you. Reach as far as you can behind you without shrugging. Good job, you guys, good job. One last one here. Palm out and away. And all the way behind the back. Good work, you guys, good work. Relax those shoulders, shake them out a little bit. And that is all the time I have for the stretch break today. Don't forget there is another stretch break with me today at 2.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Um, don't forget we have our Zen in 10 program coming up next week, starting next week. So we're gonna be doing 10 10 minute stretch breaks um, over the course of 10 days. Um, you, you don't have to come to a live one. We can do uh, one on your own time on our YouTube channel. So that's gonna be really nice. Um, my coworkers and I are gonna be participating with you guys. I'm looking forward to kind of reducing stress and finding that Zen with even more stretch breaks than I do now. I can never get enough of these things. Um, and don't forget, Exercise with Exos is at 12 p.m. today with Jazzy. I know for a fact she has a cool workout cooked up for us. Um, so I can't wait to see you guys there. All right, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe out there. Thanks, Luis. Thanks, Luis.